All right, tell me about Kelly Wittenberg. I'm a filmmaker and an educator, and uh, sort of my day job is sharing uh, the technology, tools and technology of filmmaking with students. Um, but when I get my own time, I get to make short films, and I've kind of uh, come full circle because I learned uh, traditional narrative and documentary and then some uh, experimental techniques and uh, now I do these short experimental films that I can kind of control by myself and don't have to involve a lot of people and sort of just starting to get into animation um, because that's something you get to kind of do in your studio by yourself. All right, put me to work. Stop motion? So stop motion is a system of animation where we're taking separate photographs and placing them together in a row. So we have here, um, we have our camera connected to this laptop computer and we have a controller pad, wow. all right? And we've set it up so that everything that the camera lens is seeing is just looking straight down on this area. Okay. okay. Right. I'm ready to move a horse. All right. So you go ahead okay. and um, just move whatever One? you want. Okay. Move it. Okay. There we go. We are just, we're just advancing. Okay. Okay. Now see. what? Go ahead and press this button. This button? Yep. Oh, it took two pictures. Is it going to do it? Okay. There we go. Oh. All right. Now, um, okay. you can make them do anything you want and just move again. There we go. Okay. Are they still in the picture? Your niche of filmmaking again, you mentioned it. Experiential, experimental? Experimental. Experimental, yes. Um, most people recognize a narrative. It's a story with a beginning, a middle, and an end, and a hero. Um, most people recognize documentary. Um, experimental breaks the rules. So it's wide open category, it could be anything. And I do short experimental films. Um, they're still telling stories, but it might be collage images or poetic symbolism put together. When you start placing and editing images together, new meanings arise. Um, there's a Russian filmmaker, film theorist, Sergei Eisenstein, and he talked a lot about editing as collision. You could take one image put it next to another and there was a big clash and that creates meaning so we'll just we can just throw them on okay how's that this Ooh, looks that great kind of... okay Ooh. let's go ahead and press your enter button again and here it comes interesting okay, okay. and then um how about moving them a little bit back which way me yeah. Oh, I was getting, uh, they were, were, they were headed the to the way. corral. They were yeah. headed, it was feeding time. Okay, there we go, a little upside down there. But, All right. But there's a theme to this. There's a little theme. Okay, mm -hmm. press the button again. Okay, and we basically do this until... Until we get tired. Okay, <laughs> until we get tired or it's time for bed. There you go. Yeah, Ready? Again. Okay, when do Here I... Comes. Okay. And one more time? Yeah, bring them down a little lower okay. toward um, to your right. Okay, how's this? Okay, so they can kind of... Is it okay that they're like standing on each other? Oh, they're fine. Okay. They're having right. a little party, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, Ready? exactly. Okay, All press right. that button. Award-winning. Let's look at your resume. My most recent film, uh, Representative, has won two awards this year. Um, I got Jury's Choice at the Black Mariah Film Festival, which is out of New Jersey. And then um, I actually went to the Nevada Women's Film Festival back in March, and I was awarded Best Short Documentary. It's funny because I entered the film as an experimental category, but they gave me Best Documentary. So it's, um, I think it's an experimental documentary, but uh, it's the one about my dad. Which is, was that your intent as you, as you did your creation there? You know, this film in particular, um, I think it just had to come out of me, and I was not concerned with what, how it would be received. I mean, I, that's kind of a lie. You're always concerned with how <laughs> it'll be received, but I kind of well, wasn't. I was like, you know, this is something I have to say about my dad, and I have to say it, and hopefully it will resonate with others. I don't think it's an accident that it does, because I'm... I'm aware 
through my studies that you know when you tell a personal story if you tell it right you do get that universal experience like people respond to things um, they say the personal is political so here is an example uh, when you're talking green screen there it is yeah so yeah. I was able to eliminate the green I just I shot the horse running with green behind him and then I told the computer program, I said, get rid of all the green and put these wonderful clouds in. Yes. Um, and then here he is again. There he is, okay. Okay, so once you cut it into the final film, you can put mm. anything you want in the background. And green is uh, green's usually mm -hmm. a good color choice because um, if you had a person wearing clothing, this is not a color people mm -hmm. would wear. So it's it, you don't have anything competing. Yes, it just eliminates yes. that and puts huh. the background. Yeah. What's the message throughout your work? Oh boy. Um, I think it, it, it varies, but um, sometimes it's political. You know, the, the most recent film that I uh, won the award for, a representative, sure it's about my dad, but it's also about current politics. Um, the main message, um, it's that women deserve a voice. Um, that we have a voice and we demand that voice, I think. Um, I used to get mad when people called my work feminist, but now I'm proud of it. Um, yes, I'm a woman and I'm speaking my voice and uh, I want you to listen to it. And that's important. Thank you for this conversation about film. Thank you. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.